But today is the 13th, Commander. I'm superstitious. A martini for our guest, Elena. A pleasure. Shaken, not stirred. Of course. A Campari for me. Mm -hmm. My apologies for the way you were brought here today. Please sit down. I was not sure you would accept a formal invitation. There's always something formal about the point of a pistol. <laughs> uh, thank you, Sherry. Olymp, we will finish our struggle later. Hmm? As you wish. And you also play a very good game of chess. Salute. Cheers. You usually drink Corsican brandy. Oh. And what else do you know about me? Mark Armstrako. Head of the Union Courts, one of the biggest crime syndicates in Europe. The biggest. Not quite. An organization known as Spectre operates worldwide. However, your legitimate business fronts are somewhat more extensive. Mm. Construction, electrical supplies, numerous agricultural holdings. Your dossier on me is not entirely complete. No. I have also Tracy's father. Tracy? Yes, Tracy. Tracy. My only child. My mother was an English girl, romantic, who had come to Corsica to look for bandits. Oh. Rather like those women who ventured into the desert looking for sheikhs. She found me in the mountains, hiding from the police at the time. I came to love this girl. We married. The result, Teresa. Twelve years later, my wife died. I sent Teresa to Switzerland. No, thanks. I prefer my own to finish her education. Unfortunately, I didn't give her a proper home. She was without supervision, so... She joined a vast international set. One scandal after another, when I disapproved, cut off her allowance, she committed some greater folly to spite me. And yet, behind her bravado, something was eating away at her soul. This can happen to men and women. They burn the heart out of themselves by living too greedily. And suddenly, all is finished. Why are you telling me this? Without telling me, she married an Italian count who killed himself in a Maserati with one of his mistresses. I gave her too much, and it brought her nothing. Now, why tell you all this? I've been informed of everything you've done for my daughter. Everything? Don't worry. Don't worry about that. What you did, the way you behaved, might be the beginning of some kind of therapy. She needs help. You are help. I find her fascinating, but she needs a psychiatrist, not me. What she needs is a man to dominate her, to make love to her enough to make her love him. A man like you. You overestimate me, Draco. She's very attractive, but what you ask is not for me. Mm. Listen to me. On the day you marry her, I'll give you a personal dowry of one million pounds in gold. That's quite an inducement. But I don't need a million pounds. Stop it. I'll have a bachelor's taste for freedom. Please, just see her some more. Who knows what will come of it? I'm sorry, Draco, but in my profession, I can't. Huh? You have connections not open to me. Where is Ernst Stavro Blofeld? Blofeld? <laughs> Some of my men have recently defected to him. I don't know where he is. Can you find out? If I could, I wouldn't tell Her Majesty Secret Service. But I might tell my future son-in-law. Go on. Next week is my birthday. For that, Teresa always comes back to me. You understand? Let's say I'll sleep on the idea. <laughs> 